Before we move on to the next segment, which is our uh, interview session, uh, kami ingin mau minta pendapat tokang dan mau tokang bergaul dengan orang di laman sosial. So please follow us on Facebook. Just type J A Y C H uh, O on Facebook. Tang boleh kita boleh bergaul, boleh tanya soalan, apa share dengan orang apa resolution untuk orang untuk 2021 tu. Ah, mau menang apa best best? Ah, follow me on the Instagram. Dan jangan lupa subscribe on YouTube channel of TVS untuk nangasian ulangan the JC show. Alright. So jangan ke mana mana sebab lepas tu kita akan interview dengan seorang penyanyi yang berasal daripada Sarawak, iaitu yang uh, one of our favorite singers of all time, Nana Shimi, right here at the JC show. Right after this commercial break. All right, welcome back to the JC Show. And right now, about to bring out our first guest of the evening, our, our only guest tonight for this interview. And she's uh, well known here in Sarawak. So give it up for the one and only Nana Shimi. What's up, Nana? Hi, hello, JC. How are you? Apa kabar dari sini? Sehat si? Sehat lah, makin berisi. Makin berisi, eh, si lah, okay ya. Ya, is ingal ingal kamera. So, so uh, Nana. Apa perasaan hmm. Nana berada dalam TV appear on uh, Sarawak first ever TV station? How do you feel about that? Is this your first TV appearance on Sarawak TV? Um, I believe so. I believe so, and I'm I'm actually hmm. really excited. So, but you know, it's like TV Sarawak, like Sarawak. Usually, it's like I'm this side of the world. Yeah, and of course. I'm only like in Sarawak, you know. <laughs> Yeah, finally your all your hometown, your hometown, Dada TV station in pun, and I'm sure banyak banyak peminat Nana di rumah yang net tengah nangka net to, uh, net net to Nana berada di KL, nyasa pat berada di Kuching Golok sebab uh, yeah. traveling susah lah. Okay, so uh, Nana, I wanna uh, let's talk a little bit in brief about what what have you been up to lately, and I've seen that uh, a lot is going on. You released a few songs this year. Just tell us maybe in brief uh, how what have been up to lately. Um, I would say lately, okay. Um, the latest one, um, muna di plaka pasal my career. I would say, mm -hmm. um, my song release in March, uh, in March. Yep. Uh, and tanya MCO does start. So, ragu ragu is now on YouTube. And actually, we are planning on doing a second version of the song. And actually, wow. TBS, generally TBS will be the first to actually dapat tau berita tau because I haven't been saying it to other stations or wow, whatever. Wow, so special lah tau. Khususnya kepada orang Sarawak. Amazing, amazing. Hey, congratulations. I'm, I'm, we're so happy for you because uh, I mean, I can speak fairly on behalf of all Sarawakians that you've been doing great. Uh, uh, also, to all the art, uh, Sarawakian artists and uh, celebrities out there who's doing really, working really hard in KL. Now, I want to know as well, um, right now, uh, you say you have a few songs released and a, a new one coming out soon. And at the meantime, how are you coping with the pandemic uh, right now? Because now it's susah traveling, Masuma. How are you coping with the pandemic? I think quite okay because it's been months and more, more we have yeah. to kind of adapt very fast. So, but it's the yep. new norm. Like, there's, there's never going to be, I'm not sure, but I don't believe that mm -hmm. there's going to be like another new norm where kita nang very free and all that yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah of course. course um yeah i'm just adapting really well and fast and since mm -hmm. now it's like mco and um, to be frank si ada show i mean because it's a show like there's no public shows anymore yeah it's more virtual, virtual yeah. and if ada pun show there's like very limited audience mm -hmm. so i'm now trying to actually book and shift but add up like to my Another career mm -hmm. where I'm starting a small business on my own. So, yeah. so okay, speaking of small businesses, what are you venturing in? Is it okay to share with us? This, wait, wait. <laughs> this, okay, it's just like a very small um, shawl business where wow. I'm everything on my own, like, yeah. So. That's nice. That's nice. I mean, I mean at least you're, 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 you have something else to, to pursue aside from music as well. Which is a good thing. Now that's uh, that uh, that brings up to my next question. Aside from music and all, what else uh, uh, are you are you up to? Like, what are you into aside from music? Let's get to know Nana a little bit more. Like, aside from music, what do you do on on uh, as an interest as a hobby? Um, I would hmm. say now my interest memang sedah lah shift, but I would say I'm okay. I've been loving business since study time kami study wow. dulu. Um, yep. I started pasta struck back in Kuching, and then there's mm -hmm. like beauty, and now I'm in hijab 
own business. And, awesome. And but yeah, I'm like writing songs as well. But yeah, it's like, much like biasa lah. I've been always doing this, like a little bit of this, that. <laughs> so wow. yeah. Wow, that's, that's that's what that's what you're supposed to do. I mean, um, uh, always expanding your horizons, exploring new stuff. Now, of yeah. course, I also want to I want to point this out a little bit since we are now appearing on uh, Sarawak Express Ever TV station. Uh, let's tell everybody yang mana di Sarawak yang mungkin belum kenal lagi Nana, mungkin lah yang bawa bawa ada handphone, bawa buka YouTube apa semua. Nana sekolah di sini dah lo. Ah, shout out kepada sekolah Nana lama yang mana di kucing tau. <laughs> okay, sebenarnya kami uh, datang daripada girls school, daripada sekolah rendah sampai sekolah uh-huh. menengah. SK Sentrisa, SMK Sentrisa. Wow, Sentri-Sentri di luar nunya tengah nang gantuk. What's up, Sentrisa? All right. Now, okay, speaking, going back to the first question, a lot has been going on with you in terms of your career and wise. Um, how long have you been in KL and how long have you been in the, in the industry and what have you learned so far and up until this point? Like, I'm sure, memang, because you started quite really, really young. You started in YouTube and then you signed with a couple of uh, labels as well. How much have it changed and what have you gained throughout these many years of experience in, in your career? Okay, uh, I started when I was uh, from four. From four, mm-hmm. when I was signed under a label, it's like 18 years old. Because only yeah. on my 18th birthday, sebenarnya, um, kan baru kita legal to sign sendiri without guardians. Of course, so my parents yeah, with our parents' that, guidance. That, right? So on 18, kami benar-benar dah sign and then now it's been... Now I'm 25. Um, mm. I'm bad at calculations. Wow. So, that's yeah. many. It's, seven, seven years. Probably. It's been. It's been like what? Uh, I would say seven years. Seven years since since yeah. your your first. Wow, that's good. And uh, what have you learned so much uh, so far? How how is the business doing for you? Are, are you able to cope it? Uh, about time, about balance with life and 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 work. How has it been for you? Um, I mean, there's ups and downs, of course. Of course. So, yep. Um, when kita ampasan pun kami ada macam orang cakap menyepi for quite some time juga. Oh. So, um, kerja I actually learn like fame is not everything lah. I would say it's just mm. basically and perlu perlu cepat adapt lah. Where yep, yep. one day you like you like invisible and another day yeah like, yeah boom you know, all the lights and stuff. Yeah. Everyone's like yeah, the... I mean I I used to like honestly I used to Buka love the spotlight. It's more to like, um, kami nampak orang appreciate my existence yeah, as, yeah. you know, as uh, an entertainer at that time. Tapi at some time kami macam uh, rasa terganggu a little bit. Even when we make the video, but after oh, all, kami <laughs> oh, oh, after all, actually macam I learned to actually appreciate people around me because. Um, we might never know sebenarnya, mm. ya lah, minta kita dulu, macam... Ya, yeah, ya benar, ya benar, mm-hmm. si boleh dilupa, mm-hmm. eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, uh, I'm... Now, I'm adapting really well, I, I'm not hiding anymore. I used to hide a lot. That's so, now, like, I'm here, so... Yeah, you don't have to. Oh, si keluar lagi, si keluar bertapak lagi. Di luar tu, nampak bendera sawah, which is which is a great thing. Now, yeah, and I, I also wanna, I wanna, I wanna really uh, bring this up as well because uh, you be, you started at a very young age, and I could say that you, 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 you carry yourself really, really well. I, I, we, we rarely hear anything that's going on with your career, and you've always been, been so, so dedicated and committed to your craft, which is really, really amazing. Now, of course, I also wanna bring this up a little bit because sebab mungkin orang di luar tu belum tahu lagi. Uh, actually, we were involved in a project. If you can remember, it's called "Make It Through" by Maxis. Yeah, it's a music video. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So <laughs> Nana thought, sebenarnya ada terlibat dalam projek uh, uh, Maxis lah. Nya Maxis nya "Make It Through" is a sebuah lagu yang ditulis oleh uh, uh, one of our famous, famous uh, songwriter and producer Faiza Tahe, and of course our Sarawak's own Zavi, and she's part of it. Tong boleh nangga YouTube ya, and Nana pun ada dalam ya lah, mutawa nangga lah. It's the greatest thing. And also, speaking of collaboration, we almost did a thing together. Remember, we almost did like a YouTube cover back then. Tapi camera rosak. Ingat si. What happened? What happened? Camera rosak. Alu sepat. Yeah, alu sepat upload lang YouTube. Ah, that's funny thing. Maybe not, I do. Maybe next time kita boleh boleh lagi. Ah, mun nana dapat lit so you never know in the future. Mun suri lah. Kami tahu siapa aja. Kami TV host. Hey. 
Mak muda ya sawak skit ba. I mean, so yeah, and um now TVS is actually happening right now in Sarawak. Uh, how do you feel about having uh your hometown, your own your birthplace to have your, your own TV station? How do you feel about that? We haven't have we haven't get the opportunity to ask you that as well. Okay, uh, sebenarnya I'm I'm really proud like uh yeah. even lately, uh, TVS kan ada banyak uh I would say segment shows. Mm-hmm. shows. So my week has been packed with you guys, which I'm like, wow. I feel so for me because like, yeah. Sarawak, you know, it's just so nice. Nah, yeah, been nah. home for quite quite a while now. Nah. So I'm actually really proud. Like I can actually say like, TV Sarawak, come on guys. It's not like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's it's all over the place. And yeah, and we're so happy to have you in. Just maybe kita talk susah sikit mau mbak Nana Sito, but someday if Nana dah balik kucing stock, boleh lah come to the show, let's do some performances, promote your song, whatever. Sarawak needs to know that, you know, uh, Sarawak needs to know that even though, you, uh, walaupun kita di KL, kita masih always teringat and always remember where you come from and you're always so proud of what you represent. Which about that? TVS is all about inspiring others, inspiring the, the people, the viewers, This last part that I want, uh, uh, the last favorite I want to ask from Nana, what is the best advice you could give to all young and upcoming singers like you from Sarawak? Maybe ada yang masih belajar di Sentry Sajo, kita sih tahu, but what is your best advice for the young ones who is up and coming artists like yourself? Okay, why? Tak kami sebenarnya like very nervous to actually speak out macam tu, but uh, you know what? Mm-hmm. I, I started off very like introvert, so this is yeah. all to the 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 young peeps out there young actually yep, maybe yep. you know, may, like introverts mm. in or to what extent lah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You just just love what you do, continue what you do because mm. if I don't know there is a key, you know? And mm. yeah, by putting uh get your parents' blessings. Uh. Yeah, yeah, that's the most important thing. Wow. That's just that's go good. For See, it. Dengar nasihat ya guys, siapa yang meminta lagu, jangan putus asa. Ini tahu kita ong adalah, boleh jadi the next Nana Shimi, nah, mungkin nama lain lah. Kalau itu... I'm, uh, I'm nan- giving advices macam publicly. It's okay. You being, being yourself is, you being yourself dah cukup memberi inspiration and motivation to all those out there. Just be yourself. I guess the best way to say this is just be yourself. Kalau itu memang Nana ada hantu bayak, ini tahu orang lain ada ular dengan siput guys, kita sih tahu. We never know <laughs> in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. All right. I mean, we're we're running out of time, but thank, once again, I want to say thank you, Mak Seh. Gila gila, Nana sebab sudi interview to. Harap harap di masa depan kita, tahun depan gapa ga kita boleh jumpa Nana and boleh datang on set. We can do a lot of stuff together for TVS for the people show up. Anything else you want to say before we wrap up this interview? Okay, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone yang um that support and especially TVS like. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, like, hello, and I just want to say thank you so much for making this happen. JC, oh. I want to you, of course, for having me. Yeah, you. you're welcome. Going. You're welcome. You're yes. always welcome. And I can't wait to see you soon. Stay safe. I know it's a little bit crazy over there. It's a, a whole lot different from uh, from Sarawak. Tapi jaga diri bye-bye. Okay, ingat makan semua. Berisi sikit, saya dah hal. Janji <laughs> happy. Tapi yes. siapa isi? Bobby Ngong. Bobby Ngong. Angle lah. Angle. Masalah angle. Kami tolong cover line tak? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Aduh, sempat berindah lah. Alright. Thank you, Nana. I'm going to talk to you soon. Good day.